There's an expression, it's darkest before dawn. What I mean by that is that the president of the European Commission, Mr. Juncker, recently mentioned that he has strong doubts about the ongoing concern of Europe in its current shape. And when we look at European equities, we, however, believe that there's a very interesting investment case. Now, the context of this is that European equities are still 10% below their lows of 2007. But overall, equities are doing new highs continuously and consistently over the last two months when we look at the US. This puts a very interesting investment case forward. The real key driving factors for European equities is that there is a strengthening economic momentum. What we mean by that is that there's a steepening of the yield curve, which will be very profitable for banks, but not only for banks, also for many other sectors such as insurances, etc. We see also that basically unemployment has come down from roughly 11% to 9.6%, and especially Southern European countries profit from this. We see that credits have improved dramatically. The monetary policy of the ECB put roughly 500 billion into banks over the last five years. So banks are far less fragile than they used to be. And if we speak about services and manufacturing, we have a capacity utilization today of 82%. Now that means if economies want to keep up with this increase in demands, they will have sooner or later starting investing again, which is very positive for Europe overall. Now, if we look at the US, independent of what your view might be on the administration, if you have a strong view on US equities, you definitely should invest in European equities. Why do I say that? Because you get a bigger bang for your buck in Europe, simply because the sensitivity of European companies is much higher to industrial production worldwide and also to the US. Inflation is very important because if there's no inflation, we all are down, especially companies don't invest anymore. So inflation is a feel-good factor. And the rising yield is an expression of pricing power. So if we have inflation, households will do much better because there's a lot of hiring going on. We have also seen that earnings over the last four quarters have been very depressed for European companies. And recently we saw a strong rebound of those earnings. And last but not least, let's look at the Euro. The Euro is still very, very competitive compared to the US, despite that we have a reinforcement of this economic momentum in Europe. In general, we associate Europe with a lot of debt. When we look at it more precisely, we realize that European corporates have actually deleveraged over the last three years. Today, the leverage level of European corporates, the debt level of European corporates, is 10% lower than those of US companies. So that is very positive. If we look in general at world equities, Valuations are not very low. Now, it's therefore even more important that we see an earnings growth, an increase of the E of the PE. And we see an earnings growth of roughly 13% in Europe, which is tremendous, not only considering the recent history, but also considering the region. This gives another positive point to Europe. So we are painting a quite positive picture of Europe. And apart from a strengthening economic momentum, we have valuations improving, we have earnings coming through, we have leverage coming down, and we have valuations which are substantially lower in Europe than in the US. So as an investor, you will ask me only one question. What's about the risk? And the risk is clearly here. We will have French elections and those French elections have the potential to force Europe down to its knees. Sure, this is a risk, but it's exactly this wall of worries which we like 
and which we like to use because our strongest belief is that the French elections will result in a decrease of risk and that investors, global investors from the US, from Asia, will start investing again in Europe. Therefore, we believe it's a tremendous moment to invest today in European equities.